A mother grieves for her daughter at the spot where she lost her life in such tragic circumstances. What I'm now demanding is that I get the body of my child. Whatever has happened, I now need to lay her to rest. I came here to see where my daughter lost her life and to make peace. Dozens of relatives have flocked to the crash site just south of the capital Addis Ababa. It was here on Sunday that the Ethiopian Airlines flight with 157 people aboard plummeted to the ground. As the families and friends of the victims try desperately to come to terms with their deaths, they want to know why the plane carrying their loved ones took them to their graves so shortly after takeoff. We came here to pay our respects to our friend, even if we cannot see his body. We came to cry at the place where he lost his life and bid him farewell. Everyone knew him as positive, humble and a good person. But it could take weeks, if not months, for the remains to be sent to their families. Complicating matters even more, the passengers came from more than 30 countries and Ethiopia has limited forensic facilities. That could draw out the process of identifying the victims. And as the grieving goes on, problems are piling up for Boeing. The company has announced it will send a technical team to the crash site to help with the investigation. Meanwhile, Malaysia and Australia have become the latest countries to ban 737 MAX 8s from operating in their airspace. They add their names to a growing list of countries to have grounded the aircraft, including China, Indonesia and South Korea.